minute. What's this? National Zombie Day? It totally is. Oh, you're in. I was worried you'd be off after yesterday. Oh, no, I've just um, been to visit a client. Oh, yeah, how was it? Well, I stayed awake, so, yeah, anything else is a total bonus. Mm -hmm. Oh, if Adam can't sleep, I can't sleep. Mm. Bet you're furious with him. Triggering that raid when you told him to keep things calm. Oh, it is you. I was following this amazing cooking smell through the corridor. I thought I might have to break into someone else's flat. Well, don't start drooling just yet, because it's going to have to take a little stint in my all-singing, all-dancing new cooker. And who says I don't know how to spoil the girl? So, uh, what are we going to do to pass the time? Mm, someone's in a good mood. Well, I wouldn't say getting raided by the police is great for business, but I do think Imran and I have somehow managed to pull it around. We've had a lot of support. A bit of new business, even. Oh, amazing. Well, I'm not going to worry, then, about how much these gorgeous flowers... No business card, no branded flower food thingy. What time did they arrive? Um, uh, my mum and me, we got back with Harry after school. So, half three-ish? What did the delivery person look like? What uniform? No, darling, that's what I'm trying to tell you. They, they were here already. The flowers were here, they were on the table, and the door was locked, and that is why I thought that you'd got them. The door was definitely locked. Deadlocked? My mum was being wary, and I thought she was overreacting. Hang on. So someone's let themselves in, they've left flowers and they've deadlocked the door back up again before they've left. If they've left. That's about it. Oh, except keys. Because there's no sign of a break-in. We've got our own set, obviously. Yeah, uh, and my mum's got a set too. And she couldn't have lost them? Definitely not, no. Um, she used them to open the door earlier. When there's no sign of forced entry, we'd always recommend getting the locks changed. Sure. OK. So, unless there's anything else you think might help? No, I, I think that's everything. Actually, um, I've been receiving nuisance calls. Adam. No. When did they start? Last night. One this morning, two this afternoon. Unknown number, nothing said, just silence. I didn't want to worry you. Well, the breaking and the death threats have done that. When is this going to end? We've already been in touch with the police about Jeremy and now this. I know it's worrying, but we'll do all we can to get to the bottom of it. Page, I reckon you'll give Fort Knox a run for the money with that bad boy. Thank you for coming so quickly. You're welcome. All right, take care. All yeah. right, I'll see you soon. Cheers. So, what now? I mean, are the police going to even interview this flaming Jeremy if they've got no proof it was him? You can't be here. What? It's not safe. Not while he's still out there. Right, OK. I'll, um... I'll speak to Nick and I'll see if we can stay there for a while. I mean, it'll drive you mad, but... I'm going to stay here. No, darling, I need you to be with me and Harry. I told you, I'm not putting you two in any kind of danger. Yeah, but... Sarah, I need you to do this. Someone's been in our own home. They didn't break in, they didn't have keys. Well, what are you going to do? If him or one of his cronies comes back, I'll be here. I'll be waiting. Oh, Adam, what does that even mean? No, you, you need to leave the police to sort this. I'm not having us living in fear in our own home. Oh, so now it's OK for you to take the law into your own hands. Adam, you are a solicitor. You know how this works. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. <laughs> 